What's good with y'all boys? You already know it's one dog. I'm gonna get you another video, man. Before you start this video, I pray to do some most high y'all, man. Make sure you guys give a like to the Lord and Savior. Also, man, make sure you guys like and subscribe on the video. Now, listen, guys, I'm bringing back a, a classic topic the dark side of being handsome. Now, I know that's what I became popular for a lot of you guys for. And I know you guys kind of miss those sort of videos, man. So I'm gonna be bringing them back to you, you know. And um, the thing is, is that with the dark side, I have completely revamped it, you know, and gave y'all some some of the real ones. You feel me? Or the reason why it's the dark side of the handsome. Why? The reason why it's dark being handsome sometimes. So let's get straight into it. You will develop body dysmorphia. And for those of y'all who don't know what body dysmorphia is, it's basically when you are too obsessed with how you look, when you care so much of how you look. You know, when you notice any little thing. You feel me? Body dysmorphia is something that you will develop as you start to work on your looks and you constantly work on your looks and you know your looks have been your game for the longest you know you have been getting by with your looks your looks will become you know uh, uh, it's a curse and it's a blessing but you are going to develop body dysmorphia because let me tell y'all something when you are constantly on the roll on the horizon of just focus on looking good you are going to start to notice any little thing about yourself you are going to be like man i don't like this or man i don't like that about myself you're just going to be constantly trying to improve your face and the thing about body dysmorphia is it makes your mental feel like that it is nothing is ever enough you know it makes it feel like that nothing you ever do is enough even when you know in your heart of hearts you know you are getting the attraction that you want you still are not satisfied and this is all a part of body dysmorphia man body dysmorphia is very serious because your mind will tell you that hey no you can do better than this hey you don't look good enough etc when you are already knowing what it is you feel me but the thing about body dysmorphia is it's not going to stop you know, in my opinion, there is no cure, or nothing like that. It's just more so of you getting comfortable with yourself, you know, because your mental game is always playing games with you, man. Yeah, your mind is your number one enemy. So a lot of times, guys, what I typically do, I typically just look at, you know, pictures of when I was pulling the most women and I just go off that, you know, don't don't sit here, guys, and try to stretch yourself out looking at every little thing about your face just go out pictures in a time where you know you was doing your best as far as the dating scene now let's hop straight into it y'all number one man is you always worried about how you look so the thing is every time you look around you got to have a mirror you got to make sure you straight you know you just got in the mirror and you just made sure you had that stuff on and you fresh and clean you got to go right back to the mirror about 15 minutes later and you got to make sure you still clean and the thing with this is, man, it's bad because you can be looking your best, your absolute best, but you might go to the mirror and mess something up, you know? You you worrying about how you look so bad that you're constantly going to this mirror, making sure that you clean, you know what I'm saying? Also, say for instance, you about to talk to a girl or something like that. You got to make sure you extra fly, you know what I'm saying? That you extra, you feel me? Every single time you talk to a girl, you already know you've done that before you left the crib. And the thing is, guys, is one way to counter this is to do it and get the hell out the mirror, y'all. Don't even worry about the mirror. You know you're decent. Don't even worry about the mirror. But the thing is, I know a lot of you guys struggle with this, and it's okay. But I'm telling y'all, one of the solutions for this is to get the hell out the mirror the moment you are done. The moment you are done, your very first time you go to the mirror, Get yourself clean, get yourself nice, and get out of the mirror, guys. Because the more and more you stay in the mirror, the more and more your mental is going to play with you. It's just that simple. The more and more you stay in the mirror, the more and more you're gonna, your mental is going to play with you. You don't want to be going back and forth, back and forth to the mirror. You're wasting time. You're losing energy doing this, man. And also, your, your mental is suffering from it. So, look in the mirror one time, get yourself straight, and get out the mirror. You feel me? It's not that hard. Next, guys, is looks have gotten you so far in life. So, with this, man, the reason why body dysmorphia is developed because 
there's a lot of reasons. Number one, you know that, you know, you very obsessed with how you look, but also is that it got you where you have been. You know, it's gotten you so far. And when looks have gotten you so far, when looks have worked for you in your favor a majority of the time, you are going to be worried about it. You're used to getting in actions with women where you don't have to do much work. You're used to sitting back chilling and women just coming up to you. You're used to that, you know? You're used to you not having much game whatsoever, but you're still able to be successful. You're used to people giving you the hookup in places just because they think you're attractive, you know? Getting job interviews, getting jobs. You used to stuff going in your favor all because you look good. Looks is, is power, man. It's power. Because when you look good, whatever that person's perspective of you is, it could be good most of the time, man. But you know looks have gotten you far, man. Looks will get you very far, guys. It will literally get you a job. Literally. Especially if you got a female a female interview. It'll literally get you the job. People are gonna show you favoritism, you know? You had a workforce or something. Sometimes the uh, manager or whatever, if it's a woman more than, more than likely, she'll let you slide. She'll let you get away with a lot of other things that she don't let the other males get away with. And think about it, you getting all this type of treatment. You know your looks have gotten you this far. You know if it wasn't for you getting your look straight, you would not have had this. So this is the reason you're gonna develop it. This is the reason you're gonna develop that body dysmorphia, man, because you know, damn, looks is power. Looks is doing this with me. I'm able to be late for work because this woman, this my manager finds me attractive. I'm able to miss a few days of work because my my manager find me attractive. You know what I'm saying? I got this job because the woman who's doing the jobs, the hiring manager, she find me attractive. Stuff like that, man. People throwing you free food or something like that. All because they know, you know what I'm saying, you just that guy. And with you knowing this, you are going to develop that, man. Because nobody, when you're in this sector, when you're in this part, this level of being attractive, nobody wants to lose it. So that's going to instantly, instantly make you develop it. Next, guys, is you pay attention to every little detail in your face. I give y'all myself, for example. I went from 130, 120, I'm going to say this. 130 to 135 was my prime, my my peak of handsomeness. That's when I literally had the supermodel jawline. Supermodel jawline, supermodel six-pack abs, abs. I just overall had my level of handsomeness right there. And how I knew it is because I literally didn't even have to open up my mouth and talk. The women would just gravitate towards me, literally. I didn't have to do a thing. All I had to do was just give them my number most of the time. Talk to them for five seconds, 10, 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and give them my number. They, I had so many, so many confirmations that that was my most attractive, most handsome peak. That 135 chisel jawline, six pack abs, that model look, it is gold to these women, man. I'm gonna do a video on that. But it was gold to women. And I'm I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I'm shredding back down getting there. But I noticed that was my peak level of attractiveness because that was the easiest my in my life that I've ever had it as far as the dating scene. You know, but the thing is is that as I develop, as I start to gain more weight, I start to notice, man, that my face is not as chiseled as it used to be, you know? I'm looking at every little detail about my face. Every little detail. I'm noticing everything. And I'm like, oh, yeah. It's time to go back and drop down to cut the weight. That's all a part of body dysmorphia. You ain't going to be happy, especially when you see something like that. But like I said, guys, the way to counter this stuff is to look for a picture that you know you was the, that, that you know at a time you was getting the most interactions with women, more, most success. Go back to that. That's what I'm doing, y'all. When I was real lean like that, I was attracting thick women. And I noticed, I used to always think, guys, that thick women like that, like big dudes. Like, I'm talking about big dudes. Dudes is like 6'3 plus, you know, with, with weight on them. But 
They was showing me. They, they was flocking to me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm 5'9", 5'10", 135, pulling baddies. And I ain't going to say no Instagram baddies or nothing like that. But they was baddies to me. As far as the South, you know, nice little cute face with a nice waist. And that's a baddie. But I noticed that those women, I couldn't believe it, guys. I was in shock that thick women like that, hood-built women like that, were actually attracted to slim guys. But I'm going to say this. It shocked me that I was surprised because I noticed all through school, the guys who were pulling the most always had that chisel supermodel look. They always did. But yeah, you always be worried about how you look, man. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, all you have to do is leave a like, man. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below, and I'm out.